Uh, another video from me, this one is about um, verse 34 of Surah Tanisa, which uh, apparently gives permission to the husband to hit his wife. And the bit that uh, concerns us is this bit. Wallati takhafuna nushuzahunna. So uh, those women who you fear their rebellion, nushuz. Now we'll talk about that in a minute. Fa'iduhunna. So the first step is fa'iduhunna. Wa'ada means to um, uh, sermonize, um, to admonish, and to talk to, you know, to to advise and warn. So speak to them, in other words. Next, wahjruhunna fil madaja. Next is um, separate from them in their beds. So in other words, um, a trial separation, if you like. And finally, if those two steps don't work, the last one is Wadrubuhunna. Hit them. Okay, um, that's that's the verse. Now uh, let's get let's start at the beginning. What is it that they are supposed to have done? What is the rebellion? Um, the word nushuz uh, in uh, um, ling linguistically means something that uh, protrudes or rises up or pokes out. Um, so in this context, um, it is understood as the wife rising up against the husband, rebelling, disobe disobeying the husband. But what actually constitutes disobedience? Some scholars say um, it means leaving the house without the permission of the husband. Some scholars say it means preventing the husband from sexually enjoying her. Um, others say it means uh, not beautifying herself for her husband. Um, some use all of these. Uh, more modern scholars uh, try to make it appear to be more serious because they feel a little bit, I think, um, uncomfortable about the fact that it's, these seem relatively trivial uh, in this day and age. Uh, so they say it's something much more serious. It's it's um, going out with other men, uh, liaising, um, flirting with other men. Though, of course, it doesn't mean adultery, um, as some actually seem to be uh, suggesting, because adultery is a quite separate crime in Islam, um, which requires um, being stoned to death or um, being lashed, in some people's opinions. Um, so, okay, take your pick out of any of those. Um, what is rebellion? How do you deal with it? Um, okay, well, there are three steps in the verse, which we've just read. The first is to talk to her. Uh, if that doesn't work, then you have a trial separation. Both of these are fine at the moment. They're things that obviously, you know, would occur to anyone. Um, and then the third step is to hit them. The hadith explains that this should be غير مبارح. It should be not um, harsh. In other words, it should be a light beating. And it should not. And they, the scholars explain that as meaning it should not leave any bruises, and it should never be on the face. Some scholars also specify that the hitting should be with a miswak. Now a miswak is a tooth stick used in the Middle East um, and around um, other parts of the Muslim world. And here is an example of a tooth stick. There we are. Can you see that? Okay, so basically, um, you know, kind of tap them on the shoulder there. Not on the face. No tapping on the face. On the shoulder, like that. Um, some scholars say it should be with Feather. See, I've got all my visual aids. There we are. See, there's a feather, and that should be there, like that, like that. Or maybe it's like, oh no, sorry, not on my face. Uh, just like that. Um, or with a handkerchief. Uh, there we are. Don't do it again. Like that. Um, you know, uh, actually, none of these things. Um, you know, are. Are specified as being the only things you can use. In fact, you can use your hand, although 
a lot of Muslim scholars these days try to um, deny that that's the case, but actually there's no um, specific uh, hadith or any uh, injunction that says you can't use the hand. And there are some scholars who say, yes, you can hit them with your hand, and you can use any other implement as well. And there are even hadith which uh, uh, prove that. So those people who say that it's only with a miswak or a feather are... Um, being a bit economical with the truth, um, shall I say. I've also found it very strange because many Muslim scholars also add um, that if you follow the example of the Prophet then you should never hit your wives because the Prophet never hit his wives and we are obliged to follow the example of the Prophet and um, the Prophet also said that the best of you is the best to his wife. Um, and so they say, well, therefore, you know, in reality, um, a good Muslim would never hit his wife. Well, in that case, then, who is this verse for? Is it for the bad Muslim? Because he's the worst one to tell that you can hit your wife. I, anyway, let me move on. Um, now, in the light of all these restrictions, some Muslims say, well, it's, uh, it amounts to a virtual ban. You should never really hit your wife. Then why have such a verse? Why not just ban it? Um, as for hitting somebody with a feather, um, you know, or a handkerchief, or the trusty old miswak, yeah, um, it's just ridiculous. The whole thing is just ridiculous. I mean, try to picture it. Um, you know, you've talked to your wife, you've separated from her. None of that has worked, and eventually say, right, okay, darling, you know, I've tried all those things. I want you just to stand still for a bit. I'm going to get my miswak. Just to tap you a few times on the shoulder, not on the face, or anywhere, it's going to hurt. Just to tap you. There we go. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure how many times. Five, six, seven. That's actually do it. What's she supposed to do? Wow, yeah. You know, when you talked to me, it didn't make any sense. When we separated, I still didn't understand. But you know, now that you've tapped me on my shoulder, it's all clear. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. I can't think of any, any, any scenario that makes this, you know, any sense. I have to give credit to the fundamentalists. I mean, I don't agree with them. I think their view is ab abhorrent. But, I have to say, they give it to you straight. They, you know, they don't mess about, they don't give you any um, uh, apologetic nonsense. They, they say, you know, they stand up for what they believe and, 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 and they say it uh, straight from the hip. Hit you means hit you. Um, and um, you're allowed to hit your wife and, and that's it. And it just doesn't make sense. I mean, for a long time I, I kept telling myself, well, God knows that which I don't know. Um, there's something which I, obviously I don't understand with my puny human understanding, with my um, uh, limited use of reason and logic. But at the end of the day, that's, that's what God gave me. That's all he gave me, you know. Um, and I'm supposed to make a decision about what I believe from that. So. What else can I do um, but use reason to judge? And you must do the same as well. Make up your own mind. Best wishes. Goodbye.